Hey Siri, let's do some fall shopping. Take me to Red, White, and Blue thrift store. Let's go. Getting directions to Red, White, and Blue. Hello babes, what is up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready? Are you ready to hit up all those fall vibes, you guys? Finally in September, fall like every other basic girl is my favorite time of year. I'm taking you along thrifting with me today. We're gonna be looking for everything on the perfect fall thrift list, including so many incredible suggestions from all of you guys on Instagram on things that you've been seeing, you've been loving, and recommendations of what you want me to thrift for today. On this thrift trip, you can definitely expect to see flannels, corduroys, overalls, coats, boots, vests, striped sweaters, plaid, turtlenecks, ooh, and maybe some more spicy ones. Like with all my thrift trips, I love to provide you guys a lot of inspiration. So with everything that I find, I'm going to pop up inspiration pictures of things that I feel like it looks similar to, different ways that you can style it. It's definitely going to be a fun one and a cozy one. So without further ado, come thrift with me for the perfect fall wardrobe. All right, guys, when you come through, you come through for me hard. That I literally need to organize everything. I broke down everything into little categories. This is specifically what we're gonna look for in the top. So we got a lot of browns and green tones, vests, turtlenecks, flannels and plaid, sweaters and knits, of course, cardigans, stripes, and a lot of layering pieces. I have my inspiration flowing, but I thought it would be a good idea to actually start off with the colors that you suggested. So let's check out some of the browns and the greens. All right, we made it here to the neutral section and then we'll get to the greens, but something you guys do want to keep in mind, I am in the sleeveless tops right now. Just because it's fall, it doesn't mean you should dismiss things that are short sleeves. We already learned through all the modesty videos that layering is so key and you can make amazing outfits just by layering things on top of each other. Especially with fall, everybody loves that layered look. This piece I actually think can look pretty cool, but it's something you gotta try on. All right, we could check off vests off our list. This one is actually gorgeous. Such a good fall staple because it doesn't look like any of those really trendy tacky ones like this. Such a nice cream color too. So this top isn't my size, but it is a brown and a slight turtleneck. If it was smaller, I definitely think it would look so cool with a pair of jeans. This one seems like it'll be too big too, but it's so gorgeous. Like the black lace with the brown details styled the right way. That could be so nice. And hear me out. Tops like this with like the slight peplum and the ruched sleeves, I find so nice with a pair of like taller boots and some jeans also. T-shirt button downs. I actually think that this kind of style shirt is going to be coming back. These ones are from True Religion. I really love the shade of it and the fact that it's a longer top. There's a dark version too. Layered, even with like, oh my god, a striped long sleeve underneath. Yes. Okay, made it to the greens and as you guys can tell, you're gonna hear me say the word layered a lot because really with fall, it's all about adding more and more layers, which is what gives it that like cozy layered look. Okay, Haley, stop saying layered. But green t-shirts are really nice base to have. I just love green in general and I'm also trying to find myself a really cute green cardigan in that like pistachio tone. Okay, I think we've made the most of all of the short sleeves. I'm gonna venture into the long sleeves now. We're talking knits, cardigans, button downs, everything you wanna keep warm this season. All right, this is in a super random section, but I found this brand new old navy denim jacket. I just think the fit of this would be so cool because it's so long and it can be kind of like a jacket with something darker underneath to bring those fall tones. I love. Guys, knit green stripes everything i think it's like cashmere too this is so cute and before this goes too far please if you're watching comment down below other adjectives except for cute you want to help me out be like Haley, use these words instead i really need to expand my vocabulary i just haven't ventured into knits in so long so this is really like doing something for me right now and yes you guys i am being mindful and i am keeping in mind that i am living in a place that is not super cold but we do keep the ac in the house on blast plus you can take the girl out of the fall season but you can't take the fall out of the girl so many good striped sweaters. Okay, whoa, this turtleneck, I definitely feel like it's going to be too warm for me, but I have to show you how cool this is. It looks like it's black, but then when it stretches, it's got like a red underlay. How sick is that? But of course, you guys, we cannot forget about the crew necks. I found a perfect one. Polo Ralph Lauren in a gorgeous like serene blue. It's got the little logo over there. Like such a nice crew for fall. Even with like a shirt tied at the top, like this could be adorable. And I mentioned it in my closet declutter video, but I'm just like very into blue right now in general. Like this sweater, so cute. And then this waffle knit also. I think I'll go with this one. I really like the buttons on these. So like we said, layers are great. A white turtleneck like this one is a perfect basic to have it kind of peeking through underneath crewnecks. And then of course, if you don't like 
like the turtlenecks and these basic kind of tees are really good too just make sure especially with white shirts that there is no yellow stains on them before you pick them up i did tell you that i wanted cardigans and i really love this like toasty fall color this i don't know the fabric the buttons really reminds me of something from free people which is just great to wear on top of something and then of course plaid check and button downs i'm always looking for some good ones this one is just such a soft material and nice neutral tone that it can be really good to layer too and then i don't know when i'm vibing for like a very simple outfit like just a top and jeans i would go for something like this it has really cute slight floral prints but it's just such a pretty pattern found this piece i find it so pretty also but what do you say we take a little break from the top so we will definitely revisit it when we get to the vest and the jackets a little later on but Haley's craving some bottoms right now why do i talk about clothes as if it's food so for bottoms a lot of you guys were saying the same things it's a short list but it's a very good one that a lot of you guys want to see for bottoms obviously plaid corduroy pants lots of skirts baggy jeans and warm colored jeans too i've been really really loving the colored denim lately if we find some earthy tones why not So I did a quick look-see just based on the fabric of all the colored jeans here. I landed on this because this is more of like a velvety kind of corduroy. They're a wide leg. I do feel like they may be a little bit too big. That's the only thing. But then these ones are really like too. Although with these, I feel like they may be too short. I mean, I'll try them both and we'll see. But how gorgeous are these tones for fall? And then fall trousers, of course. We can't forget about them. These ones would have been stunning again if they would have been in my size. Okay, here we go. I knew I had to be in the wrong section. There's so much more corduroy options here. The thing is with many corduroy pants, a lot of them are just not super high-waisted, which is obviously what I prefer for my body type. Well, no corduroy pants, but I am not giving up hope. I am manifesting it, guys. I am going to find something in a nice corduroy. Remember last time I found this bag? It's gonna happen in an accessory, in a jacket, in a vest maybe. All right, now onto the skirts, specifically with denim, maxi denim skirts. You guys already know that I love them too, and I found a gorgeous one in this dark wash. It has a little like pin mark or something there, but the gold button on this are beautiful and it's just a perfect length and then this skirt over here could be a really cute moment as well i don't know it depends i have to try it but i do really like the tiered skirts if this is long enough i would love that also again in that blue that i love i found this vest which is a larger size i have to say but it may still be a fit that i like okay so i'm trying to check out some of the fall jackets i don't know if this is the only section i hope not because they aren't really calling out for me especially the leathers that are like super super thick it's not practical for me but they do have a cute a few cute green ones kind of like what i'm wearing but yeah a lot of these leathers are basically like the moto jacket style which i already have a ton of Ooh, ooh, i was wrong there's a whole other section here of jackets all right guys and there's also an entire like super thick knit situation that we haven't even gone through but i'm gonna be honest i'm actually gonna save that for a future video because like i said we are kind of tackling more early fall today if we dive right into the huge huge knits right now they'll just be chilling for months in my closet without being touched so i want to do some mindful shopping and we'll save that for a future thrift trip and who said that you can't wear dresses in the fall time I mean, look at how beautiful this dress is. It's a long sleeve, kind of like a midi length. This feels like such a 90s moment. I mean, it's literally gorgeous. I have to try this on. And I know you asked to see overalls. The ones that I'm seeing are very much like Forever 21 type, but I did have to show you this one because it's so freaking precious. It's definitely a bigger size and it's more of like an overall dress. If I had any kind of sewing skills, this would have been so cool to like make into proper jean overalls, but I'm gonna leave it behind for someone who can salvage it. $4.99 too, so freaking cute. All right, thought I would quickly venture into the men's section and see if there's anything interesting here. I usually don't check out the men's denim anymore, but this pair right here really stuck out to me and this does not look like a men's pair of jeans because they're wider at the bottom. I love the wash, the high rise too, and they look like they'd be really perfect for fall. I mean, just look at the fall scheme here. Guys, throwback to Haley's Corner old finds. Look at this Nike windbreaker. This is actually sick. I love the color blocking on this. I'm usually not such a fan of red, but red has been so hot this season. Let's just try. And I have to say, especially if you are someone who is looking for knit, do not sleep on the men's knits because look, almost every single one that I'm going to turn to is sick. These thick cable knits. Like This is everything you see on the Pinterest girlies right now. And well, I did tell you guys I was gonna find something corduroy, did I not? This jacket over here could be a cool layering piece. And yeah, plaid jackets and all that, they have a lot too. Oh, I'm just too tired to go through this. But I had to check out the green and I'm so glad I did. An authentic Disney green sweater with the embroidered writing. This is so freaking cute. I mean, I gotta get this just to save for like Aaliyah when she grows up. Adorable! 
Okay, so I grabbed this one purely because I love the color and it turns out to be a champion crew neck, which I love. I mean, they are super comfortable, but I just think this is just a gorgeous color for fall, especially with the color of this Mickey Mouse one. I was just passing by minding my own business when I found this perfect wool polo sweater in the most stunning green and I love the yellow stitching contrast. Oh, yes. Okay, enough. Let's go try it on. guys so much stuff to try on i'm gonna try on as much as i can but thought that i would go ahead and start off with this coat because honestly i should just start a series at some point trying on coats that i will probably never get because it's just too hot here in florida but this leather one was just so gorgeous that i had to at least try it on it's so pretty if i was back in toronto you guys if only this polo neck sweater is such a gorgeous green the only thing about it is that it's slightly itchy because it is wool but i love the color of it it's also $14.99. I don't know. Is it worth it? Let me know. I mean, I just know that between those two, I am so much more likely to wear this one. This is so freaking cute. I even love like the varsity kind of striping it has. And it's like that perfect length, so it's not too long. It's really like the perfect fall crew neck. If you're into Disney, I mean, how much would you want the sweater right now? And this champion one too. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love the maroon. This is like a perfect home sweater too. I actually gave a lot of these away surprisingly, so definitely keeping this one. Let's try some jeans, shall we? Oh no. Guys, they are men's. They are so low rise, but just look at how nice the bottom legs are. It's okay. Hopefully next time. Obsessed with this corduroy jacket. It's like such a good fit. And I mean, honestly, whether I end up picking these up or not, the whole point is to show you guys inspiration. Go to the men's section, check out their jackets. And like, just imagine this layered over top of like thick knitted sweaters. If you're living in a cold climate, that would be perfect. Buttons are so cute too. So this Nike windbreaker, very cool. Obviously something I would have thrifted a couple years back. Definitely not my style so much anymore, so I will leave it behind. But for some dude or somebody who's really into like those vintage windbreakers, this one is sick. So pretty. You guys, this dress would have been so pretty. It's just lately I'm noticing so much of these like vintage cut items have the chest so high up. Like it's supposed to be down here, but it's up here. It's not like my boobs are big or anything, but just the way that it fits. Ugh, it could have been so nice too. I just saw that this denim skirt is also from Lauren Jeans Co. That's pretty sick. I really hope it fits. Oh my God, stop. Oh, it fits. It fits. Oh my god, you guys, this denim skirt is gorgeous. It fits. It's the perfect length. Okay, guys, just try it on the corduroy pants. I have to say they are gorgeous. They're long enough and they're high enough, but they're a little bit big. But they just look so good. Like, I honestly think I might as well get these and for $10, just get them altered. Because these are such a gorgeous shade and they're also kind of stretchy. They're also brand new with tags from the brand Cut From The Cloth. All right, showing this because a lot of you guys wanted to see me thrift some turtlenecks. I feel like this one is a very, very good basic, but I just don't like turtlenecks, like period. As much as I feel like they're so cute for layering sometimes, when something is tighter on my neck, it bugs me so much. So I am going to leave it behind, but I found so many basics here, like, like really thrift them before buying them new. This knit would have been really cute. I just don't like how high this neck is. I feel like it either needs to be a V-neck or it needs to be like a full crew neck. And it's kind of like in between. So no, but really pretty color. Instead, in a very similar color, I'm gonna keep this Polo Ralph Lauren one. I mean, the Polo Ralph Lauren is iconic for the fall. And I feel like these crew neck cuts are so flattering. This is also really thin material, so perfect for Florida weather. And did I mention I love this blue? I don't know, guys, I'm very on the fence about this one. It's like a longer line denim jacket, but it's striped. A part of me really likes it, but then another part of me is like, Haley, do you really need another denim jacket? But I like that this one is so long. Guys, comment down below. Should I get it? Should I not? Let's see what your opinions are. Okay. Okay, a knit that I'm definitely keeping is this one. I love that it has a scoop neck, but it's like still a looser fit that if I want, I can even wear it kind of off the shoulder. I love the stripes and I love green, so the combination of the two is perfect. Cozy, soft t-shirts, I can never get enough. And this one is superior. I love the forest green color. The length is perfect too. And the sleeves actually go to my elbows, which I like. I don't know, you guys. I feel like some girls on Pinterest can pull this off, but like... This just looks like a uniform to me. All right, but this top right here, I just find so pretty. The peplum sleeves, I mean, with the right skirt or bottoms, this could be such a cute daytime or even nighttime look. Okay, remember this one? If this top was more fitted, I would have loved it. It's so one or two sizes too big, but the lace is so pretty. And then this is a perfect turtleneck vest, but it's not like a turtleneck that's super tight, so I can actually still wear it. I actually think I have it on backwards, but you guys get the gist. Layered with a top underneath, maybe with like my hair up, so cute. And honestly, I had a vision with this, I don't really know what I was thinking. This is giving like Coachella vibes 2018 or 2016. You feel me? <laughs> 
just to satisfy all of you guys having a little bit of baby fever. I found some really cute fall items for the girls also. Look at this little onesie. It would be perfect for Naomi. I love this neutral little set too. They have like a ton of sets and they're all just like three or four dollars. This dress I find adorable. This one, probably one of my favorites. It will be perfect for Aaliyah right now. Maybe when we go to like the pumpkin patches next week, this is something she can wear. $4.99 for the set. Even for the house, there's so many cute mugs here. Like look at this kind of check plaid one and then this checker print one is so cool too i think it would actually be so fun to do an entire vlog just shopping for the house let me know what you guys would think of that if you'd be interested in seeing something like that comment below because i know we have some home decor lovers here all right i have to say i am very satisfied with my purse collection as of now i mean clearly you guys know how much i love my corduroy bag find so i think we'll just move straight on into shoes but did want to show you this obviously it's not authentic but my friend rachel rachel speed on youtube she actually has the authentic bucket bag from louis vuitton i think she bought it like internationally but then she got the inside remade and honestly such a good fall bag but yes yes i'm getting off track let's head into shoes and jewelry too i always have to check out the shoe section for the girls but i'm sorry can we take in these neon air jordans how freaking Cute. I mean the 30 bucks so like no but still cool but oh my god you guys Mary Jane trend has been so popular and these ones are so freaking adorable but honestly they look tiny but I love the little trim detail as well as the strap anything that has this little strap right now is such a cute accent to have on your shoes and I think these may be in my size I love the brown color too and then the three angle strap is also a cute one all right you guys I low-key just found the best hack oh my god I just found these shoes that literally like from the front look like cowboy boots and I love that look with a pair of like wide leg jeans but the problem with wearing cowboy boots is that it gets so hot and like they're so tall do you know what I mean but these oh my god I'm just imagining wearing these with jeans that hit the floor and all you can see is the front I mean that is the absolute best way to get that cowboy boot look without the cowboy boot heat loafers was also on your guys's list and I am finding a ton but they're all just like really chunky and bulky and I prefer like the minimal 90s style they're so popular right now so they are kind of hard to find but a more simple loafer like this maybe and then another style is clogs obviously but these ones are too small unfortunately I love the green color of these I just wish they fit so you guys know how all of the jewelry with like the heart shapes is super popular i really kind of like the chunkiness of this one i feel like with a v-neck shirt or something can be so cool and we are back you guys i'm honestly shocked at how much stuff i was able to find given that it's things that i could still wear even in this weather pretty much showed you everything that i got so just because i feel like this video is super long i didn't do like the whole trying on outfits with these pieces i feel like i could save that for a future video but if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up i know a lot of you guys are like silent watchers but just so you know any engagement you do on this channel whether it be subscribing or liking even leaving a comment it does wonders for my channel and it also helps me connect with you guys which i really appreciate and just like i say in all of my videos if you are watching up to this point you are the real mvps we love the ones to stick around all the way till the end if you are watching up to this point comment down below fall fever last time we did falling for fall and now we fell hard we are fevering with fall baby if there's any other trend that i may have missed comment it down below because i will be doing like a part two series for this for when the weather does get a bit colder because we get maybe like one or two weeks of like real fall here over on my instagram which is Haley's corner with two arts i'm gonna be posting more outfit photos so you guys can actually save the outfits get inspiration for how you want to dress what you want to thrift for too so go ahead and follow Follow me on there and with all of that guys thank you all so much for watching be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and i cannot wait to see you in my next one love y'all